Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here, and I told you I would bring you another gaming PC build. And uh, this one's the $1,500 one. A little bit after Christmas, I apologize, but uh, eh, maybe you people are still searching around. You never who knows. Give me. I almost stumbled right there in my words. <laughs> Let's not make a mistake already in this video. <laughs> Alright, so kicking the build off is a Intel Core i7 4770K, 3.5 gigahertz quad-core processor running at a turbo boost of 3.9 gigahertz. For those of you that don't know, this is probably one of the most popular CPUs on the, mar uh, on the market, and it's going to run you at $300. That is one of the cheapest prices that I have ever seen for an i7. Actually, as a matter of fact, apparently that's on Newegg as well. I saw it on Tiger Direct for $300, and I was like, okay, maybe that's just Tiger Direct. No, apparently, as of right now, the i7 is $300. Maybe it's because of Christmas and New Year sales, so I need to hurry up and upload this video and make sure it is still frickin' December by the time I upload this video. Uh, if you're wondering about the date, is the 29th of December. Anyways, uh, when I made the video, of course. Um, the water cooler, because it is a water cooler, is the Corsair H100i uh, liquid CPU cooler. It is going to run you at $90. I'm surprised it's $90. Again, these must be sales or something. Uh, but anyways, this is a really popular cooler. Uh, if you haven't heard about this or even the i7, then you must be living under a rock. The reason I didn't ex I didn't even explain the i7 too much is because people should know about the i7 already. This is a really beefy build, so I don't want to spend too much time on it because I don't want the video to be ridiculously long. So that's why I'm kind of breezing through some of the products because a lot of people should know them already. If you're into if you're even if you're slightly into computers, you should know what some of these products are. Um, they're very well known products, and they have shown great performance. Um, next up is the Gigabyte GA Z87 X. Actually, I was about to say Z87 without the X. Dash UD3H ATX LGA1150 motherboard to go with your LGA1150 CPU. This is going to run you at $160. This motherboard has crap ton of features, and you're going to notice a little trend here in this video because this motherboard this motherboard is uh, blue and black and gray, of course, um, and Intel is a blue company. You'll, you'll get the reference here after I say the RAM, and then after that it'll be all the blue stuff. But anyways, next up, the next thing that's blue is the G-Skill Ares series, 8 gigabytes, uh, DDR3, 600 megahertz memory. Um, so it's 8 gigs of RAM. It's going to run you at $77.00. This RAM is blue, it's a very sexy blue, it's 8 gigabytes, and it's awesome. Moving on, <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> that is the last thing that is blue in this build, which is kind of unfortunate, because I actually was going to try and go for a color coding thing going on, but y you guys can stick lights on or whatever if you want to. Actually, that's not the last thing that blew, the uh, tower case actually has a blue light, but anyways, it's not that big of a deal. Next up is the Samsung 840 Evo 200, 120, my bad, 200, Jesus Christ, 120 gigabyte solid state drive, and it's going to run you at $98, and this Samsung uh, 840 is really popular, and then they recently made the, Evo, it wasn't, well, it's not too recent, but it's, the Evo series is the series after the 840, and apparently they have a lot more performance, and um, they're a lot more speedier and everything than the regular 840s. Not by a giant amount, but they're still they're still better performance. And judging by the five stars across the freaking board on like every site that you go on, if you look at the 840 Evo, uh, they're a great <laughs> SSD. Uh, next up is the Seagate Barracuda two terabytes uh, of hard drive space you're gonna get with this computer, and that's gonna run you at eighty seven dollars. Uh, Seagate Barracuda is a really popular company. Can't go wrong. Uh, it's a very popular company, and it's a very popular. Um, item, I should say, or hard drive listing. I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> um, the word I'm looking for, not the name. But it, the Seagate Barracuda, like the um, Western Digital Blue series, is practically like, you know, their, it's their popular lineup. The Barracuda is their popular lineup. There we go. I just said the word, lineup, <laughs> of uh, hard drives. <clears throat> Next up is the EVGA... Geoforce GTX 780, 3GB video card. I know the TI came out, but Jesus Christ, the 780 was the go-to card besides the Titan when it was out. Other than if you're building a budget, that would be, you know, roughly the 7970 or like, you know, maybe a 7870 or something like that. But in terms of high-performance cards, 
the 79 70 and the 780 kind of went at it a lot obviously the 780 is a i'd say a lot better actually than the 79 70 but um the 79 70 uh, for 300 dollars it was a great card uh, this is going to run you $510, then again, this is a 1,500 PC build. If you're not expecting to spend at least that much money or slightly more on this build, then you probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, you should probably go to one of my other PC builds. Just saying, you know, give those a little couple more views. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, next up is your case. The Fractal Design R4 with window, black pearl ATX mid tower case. This is going to run you at uh, $90. This case is so ungodly popular, it is impossible to not know what this case is. If you've not heard of this case before, it is probably one of the most popular cases that anybody goes to to buy, and it's extremely silent, it has a ton of features, it's a really big mid-tower case, uh, it's not, when I say big, it doesn't take up a lot of space in your house, I'm saying, or in your room or whatever, I'm saying like the inside of it is really big and it has a lot of features inside of the case. Um, also that sexy blue light and sleek design of it is just, ugh. And also, this is a gaming PC build. Why not put a window on it <laughs> so you can see everything that's in your computer that you're happy about? Anyways, this case is gonna fit freaking everything that is in this build and more, probably. Obviously, actually. Uh, the reason it's the Black Pearl one, if you're wondering if that, whatever that means, it means it's the black one. I don't know why they have the, such a fancy name for it, but uh, it's the black one. There are different colors for this case, by the way. There is a white one, and there is a silver one. Um, also, it's like slightly gunmetal-ish, but I'd say silver. Um, but, yeah, those are the other two uh, colors available. To be honest, the white one doesn't look that great, and the silver one is... Eh, it's okay. Um, but, yeah, that is the uh, case that I picked for the build. And finally, to have a truly silent PC build, because... If you hadn't noticed, the water cooler is in there, too. Water coolers aren't generally that loud, usually. Um, and this case is a silent case. And what's the last thing in the build? The power supply! What is the power supply, you may wonder? It is the Corsair RM 750 watt 80 plus gold certified fully modular ATX power supply. Holy crap, that is a long name. Whew, if you didn't notice, I took a breath in the middle of that. <laughs> um, this is going to run you $120, and these are ridiculously popular right now, just because they're silent power supplies. You used to see me putting quotes on it, but apparently they are really silent, and they're very great power supplies. Corsair is also a really great company to buy power supplies from, and not only that, they're a really good company to buy cases from as well. Um, this thing is more than enough power to power this computer. Actually, as a matter of fact, if you wanted to stick more crap in it, the power supply would just be eating it, literally, because it's, you don't really need 750 watts, but I was like, screw it, this is a $1,500 build, you might as well have a nice, juicy, gold, silent, fully modular, which means there's no cable work involved besides the cables that you actually need, power supply, and, uh... It actually kind of sucks that it's gold, but whatever. <laughs> it's the one thing that doesn't really make that much sense in the build. It's like gold. Um, it's gold and black. It's majorly, majorly, shoot. It is majoritively black. There we go. The words on the side are gold. I wasted like 20 seconds trying to say one word. Anyways, that is pretty much the build. And if you're wondering what the total is, you'll probably be wondering about this. The total is $1,531.22. Now you're like, wait. Isn't this a one thousand dollar five hundred, you know, whatever the title of the fucking video is? It's, it's uh one thousand five hundred and one dollars and twenty two cents. If you buy the discount from Newegg, there is a discount for thirty dollars off, um, of a combo on Newegg. You have to buy that combo if you want it to be one thousand five hundred and one dollars. And 22 cents. <laughs> There's a lot in this video, like I said. That's why, it's like, look at this. This is a nine-minute video. I think this is my first nine-minute video computer PC, PC build. Anyways. So, yeah, if you want it to be $1,501.22, you will need to buy the i7-4770K plus the motherboard discount combo pack off of Newegg to, be, to make the build cheaper. Anyways... Uh, be careful of this build, by the way. The one last thing I want to say is the part, the prices of all these parts, actually, besides maybe two or three of them, uh, fluctuate a lot. So be very be, be very careful. Uh, like I said, this can be $1,001 for you, or it can be a lot more one day. I'm going to try and make this video as fast as possible and upload it as fast as possible so that way um, people get the correct, the more accurate prices of this video than something else. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. And remember, stay sexy. Peace.